Um, debugging and error handling. This is uh, one of the, the SSI's 2012 video tutorials series from Red Hat. I'm Reserat SQL Server author, uh, uh, trainer, and MVP. Um, in this video, we will all talk about uh, SSI's package lagging, which is legacy SSI's package lagging system, which because it's not used in 2012 anymore, but uh, it is uh, quite useful if you are using still 2008, 2008 R2 or 2005 uh, SSIS packages. Uh, legacy package lagging is uh, quite easy to um, configure, you uh, develop and configure in the uh, development time, you design it at, in the development time and you can also configure and design it in the runtime. There are five types of lagging providers supported, which are text file, um, SQL Server, SQL Server Profiler. Uh, that means you can log your uh, log entries into a SQL Server Profiler text file, uh, Windows Event Log, and XML file. Depends on which uh, lagging methods uh, um, and which lagging storage would be better for you, you can choose any of these or multiple uh, of these. For example, a package can have three kind of lagging in text file, in SQL Server, and Windows Event Lag. Uh, you can also choose list of events that you want to be liked and the variables that you want to be liked. For example, the computer name, source name, source ID. Um, and you can also, from the events, you can also choose uh, which event, for example, an error, an warning, an information, any of these events that you want to be liked. Uh, it's quite easy uh, to uh, I work with. Uh, I just show you in a sample how to do that. This is a sample SSIS package that we have here. Uh, uh, this SSIS package has a uh, for each loop that uh, loops through some text files and load data into database. Uh, and if I execute that, it will um, fail because, for example, there are some, these records are exist in the destination and uh, primary violation, primary key violation happens and that sort of thing. Uh, now I want to um, do some lagging on this uh, package. Uh, for doing the lagging, uh, what I do, uh, just going to the SSIS menu and choose the lagging here. When I choose the lagging here, you can choose, you can see that there are different kinds of provider types. I can choose SQL Server, XML file, text file, any any of these things. Uh, at the moment, I want to choose SSIS uh, SQL Server as a SSIS lag. So before choosing that, I just go to the um, go and create a new connection for that. I create a connection and I name this connection as a log connection. For this log connection, uh, with this log connection, I can now create that SSIS lagging. You can choose any of existing lagging, existing connections as well. So I go back to the uh, SSIS lagging. I choose SSIS lag provider for SQL Server. And I add here, I choose the package container uh, or anything that I want to be logged. I have the object hierarchy here, so I choose the package. Then I choose the logging provider. This is the name of logging provider. I can change this name. I don't want to do that now. Then in the configuration, I choose which connection that I want to use for SQL Server lagging, which I say lag connection because I choose that like I created that lag connection. As you can see, I didn't set the table that I want to lag. That's because SSIS stores its lag entries into a specific table, which is this SSIS lag. And then in the details tab, I go to the advanced and I choose a list of events and um, variables that I want, for example, source name variable uh, tells me that which uh, package executable objects uh, cause that event, so I choose everything at the moment, and then I hit OK. So that's 
Oh, when I have this configuration, now if I start execution, the package execute as normal and it fails again, I stop that. Now I can go to my uh, database. I can select star from SSI slug. As you can see, this is the table that uh, provides uh, SSI uh, package lagging. So when I select data here, you can see that you have some uh, lag entries here for each of each kind of events. There are some lag entries. It has the computer name, operator name, source, which is the executable name, source ID and execution ID. These are unique identifier assigned to um, the source and to the package executions, start time and time, and uh, some other information like message. For example, if I want to know what caused the error, I say where event was an error. And when I select here, I, it shows me an error messages. And there are different kinds of error that happened. Uh, for example, uh, we have division by zero somewhere. Somewhere else we have some other Kind of error uh, at the moment the region by zero is the most important one that i see here so that's actually uh, how we can use this ssis uh, package lagging which is quite useful if you are using ssis 2005 2008 2008 r2 in 2012 uh, the method of deployment of ssis packages uh, changed quite uh, differently at the moment, if you look at this pack, this project, this is in package deployment model, which is the legacy. By default, when you create a package in SSIS 2012, this will be in project deployment model. And in project deployment model, there will be a SSIS catalog, which I will talk about. And that SSIS catalog provides a robust method of SSIS lagging in different levels. Okay, for uh, SSIS package lagging, there is also another um, think that is important and that is that when you deploy your package into the production environment you can even control uh, lagging configuration not not from the uh, bids or SSTT even from uh, the UI or from the command uh, line that you are uh, executing the package uh, at the moment, I want to show you how to execute this with DTExec UI. DTExec UI is one of the important uh, tools for executing SSIS packages uh, in legacy uh, deployment model or in package deployment model. I choose file system for executing this and I choose the package. My package is this one. When I choose the package, there are different configurations that I can set up here. For example, I can set variables, values, I can uh, set uh, change the lagging connection string or uh, directly I can come to the connection managers part and choose the lag connections. Lag connections was the connection that I uh, used for lagging. And now here I can change the connection string for that one. So let's say I don't want to log this into this database. Instead of that, I want to log into the sample database. So I just, before that, I just truncate my log table here. And then I'm going to the exec UI and here I change initial catalog of log connections you should check this to change it and I enter sample when I execute the package in this way this is one of the uh, useful ways of executing package in production environment because you you won't have a SSTT or business intelligence development studio as you can see this shows me the progress of a package execution and if I go back here in my old DB, I cannot see any like entries, but if I go to the sample database and I select uh, from CSSI slug, you can see that all entries already 
are here. So I can easily change the lock connection string, which is quite useful and handy for uh, SSI administrators, server administrators to change this. Uh, there are other kinds of changes that you can do uh, and uh, those kind of changes are uh, actually uh, adding or removing lag providers, uh, enabling or disabling logs uh, here in execution, execute package utility which is DT exec UI um, you don't have all these kind of features uh, graphically enabled uh, there is also another way of executing uh, packages which is with dt exec dt exec is the command line for execution for execution of uh, ssis packages that command line has different options for example this uh, text here this command line and text here is for executing that package this is the address and uh, name of that package but for this package we said that we don't want this package to lag anything that lagging mode 2 means that disable all lagging on this package so I just paste it here um, three. Um, let me type it in here uh, dt exec slash f then I put my package name and slash set package dot properties logging mode I want this to be 2. Before executing this, I just truncate logs in this database as well. So we don't have any log entries in any of databases. Now I want to execute the package from here. As you can see, that command is executing the package and looking through data flow tasks and that sort of thing package executed and now if i go back here i see that there is no lag entry anywhere that's because we removed that uh, we disabled that lagging mode uh, with this command dt exec has different uh, has many options for execution packages which uh, we will talk about in the execution uh, in the package execution tutorial video about that if you want to learn more about that, you can just search for DT exec utility and there are lots of uh, commands and options and switch that you can use even in the like options. You can choose which variables you want to be liked and that sort of thing and changing logging providers, adding logging providers and that sort of information. So that was the sample. In summary, in this video you learned how to enable and use package lagging, SSI's package lagging. That package lagging configuration can be done in your development environment or even within DT exec or DT exec UI. There are five types of lagging providers. You can use uh, one of them or uh, multiple uh, lagging providers. And remember that this is legacy SSI package lagging. This is good for SSI 2005 to 2008 R2, but for 2012 there is a much better SSI uh, catalog lagging system.